good YouTube, it's your boy Starbucks, Angel TC, Heart of the City. I know it's been a while since I made a video. I was trying to wait to the semen forest, but I'm on a dummy mission right now for my homeboy. Try to copy these damn red phone pods. And they called me 10 minutes ago. <clears throat> it's like 9.30. Store open at 10 o'clock. I'm receiving the line. Hopefully it ain't because I went to one of them spots last night to go check out the release, see what it looked like. It's packed, packed like a motherfucker, but I mean, I ain't really phone positive to do, and plus, for some reason I'm getting hassled again, so I didn't capture no footage, or I didn't really try to capture no footage, I wasn't really into it, but I'm going out here to see what it look like, I'll get back at y'all. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Yeah, it was kind of easy copping them drones. There's only about 10 people outside. I try to do a in, what you want to call it? Uh, in car review because these ain't for me. Like for a man, like I told you, he got a small ass foot. So I'm gonna try to rearrange this camera so I can get a good shot of it. As you can see, I got a kick you with this. Size 8. I'm gonna let my tally work for it. regular old paper and that's one thing I hate hands down about Nike's that they always give you like a shitty ass box and these shit cost two twenty. That's what the part I don't fucking understand. I'm try to make this quick because I'm in the hood right now as you can see I'm in the hood. And niggas see me with these they might want to fuck me up. As you can see metallic red, clear bottom with the red, the penny check, penny logo on the back, the little mesh on the tongue and all that good shit. These these motherfuckers are tiny as hell. I don't know what's the big fuss about these, honestly, because the line, the line was all for, the line was all for these goddamn phone pauses, but they had other sneakers. They had the LeBron 8, well, my fault, the LeBron 9 Cool Grays. And they also had the, uh, the fucking, uh, Spizikes, the, the Bordos, which nobody wanted in this time. They did it, they organized it real proper, like, they fucking gave everybody tickets of their sizes that they wanted, and for which shoe they wanted. But, of course, everybody wanted the phones. And I tried to shoot, but niggas was already trying to get hectic. There was only, like, 10, 15 people out there. A lot of people from the Concord release was out there telling me their story about how, they uh, didn't get theirs, and they were, like, first ones in line and shit. But I'm about to go on my way up beware to take these sneakers to this fucking man. It's crazy. This is how it all. I'm going to give a brief little story how this shit even started. This nigga put me on a mission trying to look for these shoes because he don't he know about sneaks, but he don't know about them as much as me, of course, like usual. So I told him I'd help him out, call a couple places he was going on. Everybody was selling them early, sold out within 10 minutes. In his spot that he usually cop sneakers early from, he was gonna get them from him. The dude got him a week in, got him in a week early. And this motherfucker comes out his lips and had a nerve to say he won four fifty, four fucking fifty. They it was like a couple days before they came out. And the fucking sad part about it is, they sold out. He sold every fucking pair for four fifty. That's what shocks the shit out of me. So. uh he couldn't get them there, so I called all the places. Of course, King of Pressure had them. Did a midnight release, as I told you before. And I told them Kick You USA that I got them from was doing it because they had a big-ass sign on the wall saying they was getting them that day. So that was, like, one, to me, the worst place to go because it's in the hood. After that Concord release, how niggas was acting, you think it's going to be even more worse. So I told them uh, the Concord Mall, which is, like, 10, 15 minutes away from his house, this asshole, I sent him up there at 6 o'clock because I thought they was going to sell them early, which they didn't, but he didn't even bother to call them to make sure that they were selling them early. So he was out there for two hours for nothing, and he still should have stayed out there to get them because nobody was the hell out that mall, but he leaves and calls me an hour later asking me, can I go online for him to go get them from at the damn store? I mean, I didn't care because it, was, it wasn't for me, and plus, like I said, the line wasn't going to be hectic like that convoy really. See, a lot of people don't understand. 
a lot of these shoes are hyped, hyped too much. Like, if these was a regular old Nike and they wasn't hyped as much as they was, and people wasn't like prom promoting them on the fucking internet and getting them early all the damn time like they do, it'd probably sell out. But it wouldn't be no fucking mass hysteria, or you wouldn't get like motherfuckers selling for like three, four hundred dollars. Like, I mean, come on, like that's entirely too much for a shoe when you get this little basic plain ass bullshit ass box. That's the one thing I least can say about Jordan. Jordan make you, I, I ain't gonna lie, the quality is start, starting to become fucking horrible. But at least with them Concords, they was 180, which everybody thought was overpriced. Which is true, because it was 125 the first time they came out and when they first retro. But I mean, at least you get a quality box. You get the box, you get the little plastic shield, and you get the little uh, chew trees in the inside. I mean, that's, to me, even though I don't wanna keep paying that price, that's reasonable for me. I'll pay that fucking 180, 190 with no fucking problem for some Jordans that I love and I get all them specialties. But I'm not gonna pay 220 for these shits, which look okay to me, but every, great to everybody else. But you get this little plastic, shitty ass cardboard box. Like, I'm not doing that, man. That, that's just not me. That's why I say I'm not a hype piece. If I was a hype piece, I would've bought them. I got the money to get them. But I don't like them. I'm not gonna wear them. That's one shoe I know I won't wear. And if I was to get them, the only thing I can do is sell them and make a couple of dollars, but that I'm not into that all the time. Like, I mean, I would not mind doing it because a lot of people were trying to trade theirs because they couldn't get their size, so it helped people out. But I'm not the type to sit there and do that shit all the fucking time, man. It's not always about the profit for the love of the sneaker, man. You know how it is. So, basically, back to my story, uh, I try to call a couple other places to see if they can get them late because sometimes the, uh, a Foot Locker in this other mall, like, get them late. Like, they get, they got the Concourse late, which I didn't know. If I, wish I, if I knew that, I wouldn't have had a problem because there was no line. It was, like, 10 people from my cousin told me. They got, they came out Friday. And Christmas, which was Sunday, they got them the day after Christmas. And he said there was about 10 people out there. He got them with no problem. But it wasn't his size. He sold them for 350 the same day. So, that just pissed me the fuck off. So, basically, I was stuck with going to that Kicks USA. But it was cool because I didn't see nobody out there. I said, damn, ain't nobody out here. I'm, I'm not, I said, I'm not crazy. Last time I went out there and did a line for them, when I got some for my, myself, it was the Black Cements. And it was a little line, but everybody was in the car. So I, I got up at like 9.30. They didn't open to 10, which bothers me. Every time they get a, a fucking hype shoe or like a limited shoe, they still open at 10. They never open early. So I see people in their cars. I'm like, these motherfuckers, like, it's almost 10 o'clock. Y'all still gonna sit in the car? It's a domino effect. I don't know why motherfuckers do this. The same thing happened with the Black Seamans and the Concord. Basically, I pulled up. I'm not sitting in no fucking car. Because after that shit happened, I ain't got time to be dealing with this. I guess I'll get in line. Well, go to the store to go see if they open first. As soon as I'm getting in line and shit, everybody hops out their car. It's a domino effect. They see one person get in line. Fuck that. I've been out here since, like, 10 I've been out here since, like, 8 o'clock. Ain't nobody gonna get in line in front of me. What you expect? I mean, your ass sitting in the car the whole fucking time. You gotta get the fuck out and wait in the line in the cold which was only for like 20 minutes, but all in all, it went down, we got ease. I tried my hardest, I don't know why, man. I might give me a little hand cam because I'm using my iPhone like I always do, but I'm trying to capture some shit, like at least, cause they always say like, you no know, footage, but I can't hold this damn this damn phone and try to capture shit without them knowing or like, without causing attention to myself because it's a phone, like I could do it with a cam, a little hand cam, so I think next time I'm just get a hand cam, but, I hit y'all back up when I get to this nigga house. One. All right, I'm pulling up to this apartment building now. I'm trying to find this nigga house. This nigga gonna be like a fucking kid in a goddamn candy store. He said, "Gray Max." That's all to me. Some nice ass fucking apartments. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna get right back and I gotta call this nigga. Alright, pulling up to this new house. Huh? Man, they selling shit everywhere. Who? See this nigga? Nigga didn't even wait for me to get in the fucking, fucking place yet and he already up my ass. Pay the green out this motherfucker. You want this? 
Excuse me, don't get ready to move that car. I ain't got no damn money to pay for it. I ain't got any cost that much. I don't think I'll pay to stay here. How much? Like $100. What it include? Huh? What it include? The only thing I'll pay is electric bill. Okay. Mm. This thing. God damn. This little cool bastard. I like that dude. My shit don't look like yours. What happened? Say my shit don't look like yours. What the hell are you talking about? My collection. Nigga, I only got 12. Damn, this one's dusty as hell. Yeah, them joints tore up, too. Well, this is the closing video. As you can see, nigga's a happy man. Gave me an extra couple bones for helping him out, getting them for him. But I did not know that nigga had that little collection like that. See, but you gotta understand something. That boy has a little fucking foot. So he don't pay them prices we pay. He only pay them prices if he want to get an adult size just to get the box and shit like that. But leaves out and he puts a gem on me to give to his son. Look at these. As you can see, it must be an older bike, older box, five and a half. How often do you see these shits? A little bit of yellow, the steel tents. Still in good condition. Little foot bastard, has so many pairs of sneakers, he hardly ever fucking wear them. But he promised me, he told me to promise not to give them to him until I go get the uh, old rules for him. So, with that being said... Check y'all later. You know I'm definitely gonna have a video for four. So comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Rate, thumbs it up if you want to get at your boy one. Salute.